Guys and girls, God bless you all. Thumbs up from me as usual. Welcome to the Real Love Festival Survival Channel. I thank God for the grace. And today's video is going titanium number eight, guys and girls. Going titanium number eight. And it's all about the titanium Viper Covert Pack. All right, guys and girls. So without further ado, I'll get into it, okay? This pack is basically... Um, let me just get some specs for you. We've got 46 height. We've got depth, it's 30. And across there it's 20 centimeters. So we've got 20 centimeters by 46 and by 31. Okay, guys and girls? Right, let's get into the pack now. So like I was saying, this is the Viper Covert backpack. I do believe it's around about a 30 liter. I've been trying to find out the uh how much liters it is i think it's about 30 if anyone finds out any different please leave any comments below so basically you've got uh, on the very outside you've got these lovely zippers pulls with nice plastic rubber type material here it helps you pull them up and down okay so you've got two of those so you can go in this way or you can go in this way and uh, it's up to you just basically on the outside I've got a glow stick which I've activated just to show you how bright these glow sticks are I've got my Rush Plus uh, Bowley on the outside I've got uh, a spare set of keys basically I've put the, the little torch on there the little true utility a little stash pot stash here a little face shield and a little whistle okay and a little glow stick spare one all right I'll keep that on the outside all right guys and girls you do get two mesh pockets on either side get a nice mesh pocket that side and on that side all right guys and girls you get some really nice padded shoulder straps okay you can put attached stuff here or here i do believe you get four d locks as well four d locks two on the straps and the d locks on the side here okay you get two of those one on that side one on that side and like i was saying You've got a nice ventilated back here with padding, three sections of padding. You've got a lower section here, side section in the middle. The wind can go through really nice. Okay, okay. Now carrying on on the outside, on the top, I've just got my Viper hat. Okay, guys and girls, Viper baseball cap. I've got my titanium snoody, and then I've got me recon gloves. Okay, guys and girls. So I keep that on the outside. Now. As you can see, a lot of this stuff goes with the garrison pack. But these two bags go together. The garrison pack, if you scroll down and look for going titanium number seven, you will see what I've got in the garrison pack. And this actually is part of that kit. Okay, they combine. I can leave the garrison pack and put stuff in here. All right, guys and girls, so there we go. Snoody cap. And like I said, it's got two zips at the front, a main compartment. At the very back, it is bladder compatible. And basically, what I keep in here is just a little map, map thing, map case. I could put my maps in here, compass in here, other little bits and bobs. Okay, it's just one of those. And I don't keep nothing else in there, but you've got a good little place here to put a bladder. Okay, and it's got a little Velcro closing at the top. And it's also got the little hole here to pass through the tube. Okay, guys and girls. Okay, so you can bring your tube out of there for your water. Okay, you do get a sternum strap. And then uh, you can actually put, there is a space in here where you can put a belt if you want a waist belt as well. Okay, it's not included in this one. But at any point, if I want to, I can get a little um, waist belt in there. All right, guys and girls, so moving on. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the first section, which is in here. Basically, in here, I have my Viper Operator's Pouch, which you've probably seen before. If you haven't seen it before, scroll down, look for the Titanium, go in Titanium number 5. I've actually made a few little changes in this, so I'll come back to this in a little while. This is the Viper Titanium Operator's Pouch, and I'll come back to this in a minute. Alright guys and girls, <coughs> moving on. I've got the small uh, utility pouch, express utility pouch, you just pull the handles down 
and, every, and your gears inside here. In here, basically, I've got my uh, Cosmos Black Diamond Light. And that, here you go. First time I opened it, all my batteries fell out, but there you go. Basically, got my Black Diamond in here. I've got the little Princeton Tech torch in here. Back up, little two lumen torch. It does come with a little clip here that you can put onto your headband of your existing headlight and use this one as a backup. All right, guys and girls. All right, now moving on, got the spare batteries in here. All right, guys and girls, another little pouch in here. I basically got the, uh, the medium express utility pouch. Same as the first one, just pull this down and all your gears inside there. Now I won't go through this stuff again. I've already been through it in the previous video. If you scroll down and look for going titanium number seven, you can see what I keep in this kit here. Basically it's a medical kit. Things like a thermometer in here, uh, bite spray, you know, we've got cellox in here. Okay, cellox, gloves, uh, antiseptic cream, little tampax there for deep wounds and various other little bits and bobs, first aid kit, little red first aid kit, medical shears, poncho, other, uh, gauze pads, okay, self-adhesive uh, bandage right there. All right, so that's the second utility pouch. Now again, all this stuff, I had it in the previous video in the garrison pack, so all I do is I take them out of that and whack it into this covert if I wanna go for a day, 24 hour, a day pack, basically stuck, get the stuff from the garrison pack and whack it in here. Right, moving on, that's the first one. Like I was saying, you've got a place in there to put a, a sidearm, if you carry a sidearm, we don't have sidearms in, in UK, we're not even allowed to carry knives. So basically you've got two, if you're left-handed or right-handed, the covert pack would be great. All right, guys and girls? So going into the main compartment right now, okay, now what I'll do, is I'll put this over here. All right, guys and girls. Let me just put this to the side. All right, guys and girls. So starting off, straight away inside here, I've got the tight, oh, excuse me, hitting the camera there. I've got the titanium splitter pouch here. Again, this is in going titanium number seven. You can see the full contents. Basically in here, I've got an IR light, infrared light. If I want to be seen by friendlies, I've got a tourniquet in here. I've got a tourniquet and a four inch Israeli bandage in there. Okay, as well as the IR light. All right guys, and what else have I got in here? Basically got a little fishing kit, a little sewing kit, dog medication in here. In here I've got shampoo, toothbrush, toothpaste, a razor blade, a bigger bandage, and another glow stick spare one, some zip ties, okay? And also if you scroll down in my videos and look for the minimalist day pack, you'll see what I keep in this green bag. I've incorporated that minimalist kit within this, within this kit as well. Okay, guys and girls? So let me just stuff that stuff away. Put it over here. Excuse my back, guys and girls, moving on. In here, got myself another titanium Viper operator's pouch. And the reason why I've got another one of these is I can put my uh, 10,000 milliamp charger in here with the appropriate lead. I've got the lead for that here, plus I've got a longer lead here, a spare one, and it's empty pockets. I can put any other electrical stuff in here. I could put batteries along here if I wanted. I can put other stuff in here, okay? All right, so this is still a work in progress. I've also got a little armband in there. You've seen that in the garrison pack. I keep that on the outside, but I'll bring it with me in this kit as well. So if I place that down here, carrying on, just got myself a big bottle of water ready to go. Okay, so I don't have to carry water purification, water filter, I've got that. I do carry some water purification tablets in, um, in, in inside that uh, splitter pouch right there. Okay, so there's my water. Moving on guys and girls, what else do we have in here? Now in here, I've got what you call a stash pouch. It's another uh, one of the newest pouches by Viper. It's the stash pouch, also Molly compatible. It's got Molly on the back there as well. Lovely little pouch, titanium gray and black. All right, basically what I keep in here. Now this is a covert day pack. All right, so in here, I've got things like cyst drinks, 
I've uh, got some Belvita bakes, soft bakes with chocolate chips. I've got uh, a little yogurt flapjack. I've also got some porridge oats. If I have to do it overnight or in the morning, I've got a little bit of porridge oats. All right, guys and girls, another Belvita right here. Okay, guys and girls, I've got myself one of these little collapsible bowls right there. Picked this up recently. Thought that'd be cool, cool in the kit. Okay, if I want to drink water, if I want to give my dog some water, uh, loads of uses for this. I can collect water in this, I can carry stuff in this, blackberries and other stuff, bits and bobs. And it's also nice and, you know, collapsible. And that was in this pouch as well, guys and girls. Right, moving on. Basically got some wet wipes for hygiene. Uh, got some more Kleenex tissue. All right, guys and girls, moving on. In here, got a little emergency mirror, signaling mirror with a compass and a whistle and a lanyard. Okay, guys and girls, some hand sanitizer. Uh, I've got a little NBC facelift with a thunder flash right here if I want to make some noise. All right, guys and girls. And then last but not least in the pouch, I've got a dust mask, waterproof gloves, and some safety glasses right there. Okay, guys and girls. All right, so I've got some clear safety glasses and I've got my sunglasses on the pouch, right, on the bag right there. All right, guys, let's have another look in here. Oh, last but not least, my little Essie Azula neck knife. Okay, we're not allowed to carry knives in London. So in an emergency, if I have to bring something with this kit, I might bring just a neck knife. All right, guys and girls, so let's move on. So that is the, the stash pouch, which I think is a great little pouch. You can take it on its own even. You know, you can you can fix a little uh, little strap here. And actually, at a later date, I'm going to probably do a little kit just with this. Okay, because I could actually put this on the back of my plate carrier and make a little minimalist kit with this. So look out for that. It's got a little couple of little holes at the bottom there for the water to drain. It's got the new little uh, Viper emblem right there, which all the new gear has. Most of the gear has got this new emblem. So there we go, the stash pouch. All right, guys, let me just check the video how long we've been going. Okay, only 12 and a half minutes. Okay, so that's the latest pouch, one of the latest pouches from Viper. Excuse my back rest then, guys and girls. Okay, going in, carrying on. What else we've got in here? Now, it does have a little space in the back for a laptop. Okay, you've seen that you can take a water bladder in the back here. So, and inside here, you can put a laptop. All I've got in here is I've got my seven inch tablet, which is also can get me on the internet, stuff like that. All right, so that goes in the back there. It's got a nice little padded section here for a laptop. Okay, I haven't got my laptop in here today. And then also it's got a little mesh pocket here. Uh, if you can see that with a little zipper. Right there, guys and girls, it's got a little zipper. Nice little pocket. Let me just quickly show you. Little pocket in there. So basically what I keep in here, it's got my P, uh, mini uh, BCB mini mess box survival kit in the tin. Scroll down in my videos and look for the BCB mini mess box. You'll see what I keep in here. Basically it's like a little survival kit. Right guys and girls. A couple more things in this little pocket I've got here. Basically some, uh, some chapstick and some talcum powder in a little tin. I always have a little tin of talcum powder, okay, for your feet, for your groin section, God bless you. All right, so that goes in that little pocket right here. All right, guys and girls, along with the SAS uh, BCB Mini Survival Kit. All right, guys? So I think that's everything in the bag there, guys. Let me just double check inside there, double check inside there, and just place the bag back up here for you guys. Excuse my back for a second, guys and girls. There is a couple more things I'd like to talk to you about. All right, guys and girls, so basically that's the, the BCB mini mess box. So there we have it. This is the Covert Viper Covert uh, backpack. Okay, guys and girls? So you've seen the straps, the shoulder straps. It does have a, a, a sternum strap, by the way. So it's got a chest strap there as well. Right guys and girls, and carabiner here, just a couple of little screwdrivers, little pair of scissors on there. That's basically it, and the glow sticks, wow. Let me just turn the light off actually, and show you how bright these glow sticks are. Just bear with me a second guys. 
Now, all right, it's not really dark, but those glow sticks are great, okay? Now, I did turn it on just to test it. Thumbs up from me, guys and girls. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, this has been Going Titanium number eight. Now, you know, you can have it in loads of different configurations. This is how I got it set up today. Let me just push the camera down and let me just move out a little bit. And just to show you everything on the table, well, most of the things on the table. Right, guys and girls. Obviously, as long uh, along with all this stuff here, you'll have your day carry as well. You'll have your everyday carry, your little wallet, your Bible. Obviously, your Bible will go in your cargo pocket and my little diary. So that's my everyday carry. I do have keys on the side there. And basically, that's it, guys and girls. Now, watch out for the next video, okay? I'm going to show you this what I've been doing to this Viper titanium pouch I've been upgrading it and I'll do that in the next video but this video today it's been about the Viper let me just lift up the camera again just to show you the pack today's video has been going titanium number eight and it's all about the covert backpack all right guys and girls thanks very much for watching the video if you want to like, share, subscribe, please do so. If you want to leave any comments, please do so. Take care of yourself out there. And thank you for coming to my channel, The Real Love Festival Survival Channel. Thank you for your support, guys and girls, everyone out there. Thank you to all my subscribers. A thumbs up to all of you. You are all in my mind, even if I don't mention any of your names. I do think of all my 501 subscribers. God bless you all. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. Like I said, like, share, subscribe if you like. If you want to leave any comments, if you want to say what could be added, what could be taken away, please do so. But this has been Going Titanium number eight, guys and girls. God bless you. See you on the next video. Take care for now.